God, praise God. Amen. And he always have encouragement, encouraging words, yes. always have wisdom Amen. in many different areas. Yes. And let's give God a great big hand of praise for our pastor, our general overseer, a humble servant 
of the Most High God, Apostle Taylor. Let's give God a great big hand for you. Yes, to glorify God. Amen. And uh, we can't uh, glorify God here, but we're going to glorify him next door. And go out in the neighborhood and go to do it like this, they're going to thank you great. I mean, you're going to draw some attention now, but they'll thank you great. If you go to Walmart, you can't do this because they gonna know you, Grace. Uh, praise the name of the Lord. Let's give God a hand for winning. Yeah. We always endeavor never to come to bring your soul. And if you don't value that, then God can't help you. Because He prayed that He paid the ugly cost. Uh, that we may have a right to this tree of life. We got this another Friday night. And I guess they not already started the feed ball. Because I think the Christian, supposed to be a Christian academy up here. You know, you know I've seen niggers, all kind of people. They, uh, oh, the guy that owned Penn Body Shop, though, he was parking over here. He fixed that. He put up, he said, no parking. And then he put a for sale sign up there. He told him, how many acres do you want to buy? He said, I know him, you know, I'm talking about it. If you want to buy it, then buy it, but you ain't going to park over there. But, you know, it's just amazing that this country, on all our money, says in God we trust. And this, this, this country is a pleasure seeking country. Amen. It's at a hundred and some degrees, and uh, people would be talking, well, this whole part of it, y'all going to work. But yet, you go by all that, they still, they practice football, what kind of it is? Now, old Mrs., some of them, they got inside with air conditioning and stuff, I think. But these, these guys out here, yo, some of them, they fall dead. Every year out there, practicing, they, they want to get, but if you have church, you know, oh, but y'all, you mentioned up with you. Know, and it just, and, and you know, don't get me wrong, some people, it, it really bothers them because they have friends who say, you mean y'all go to church? Big girl, we going to the game. You know, y'all don't know how to fun. I said, well, you, you, uh, you'll have some when you go up on State Street and stop at either one of those hospitals up there. And uh, then they come in there, they're not having fun of you. You understand? Some of them get hurt tonight or fall out. Some of them die. Come on, give God a big hand. So, I want to just look at a scripture we can find in John 10th chapter. Just for a minute. And it, it's such, a, it's such a, 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 a great thing that God and the devil is competing for the same thing. That's right. Amen. And they're competing to mean he's striving against one another. They're diametric opposed. It's like your flesh and your spirit. They're contrary to one another. You know, I tell people before you, you get out of bed, say, well, I'm going to call the mother. You ain't got out of bed yet, so I ain't coming. Why don't you get up and take a shower and see how you feel first? But you see, as long as you're in the bed, you understand? You see, you won't, you, you, you won't have no... You say, well, I don't feel like going today. But if you're going to get up and take a shower, let me see how I feel when you get up. Then you see what? Then call them. Huh? Then call them. But we won't do it because, see, our flesh is competing with our spirit. Amen? We want the inner man to grow. That's where we want to go. And you, the Bible says, Blessed is they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. These people, they have, that, 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 that's really have no contrast with them. 
Yet if they were compared with, 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 with natural hunger and spiritual hunger. But they won't do that. But when they get home with their heads to Chick-fil-A. It, it's amazing, you know, we can be working with some people and they and they that's what y'all eating today. But they don't say, hey, hey, where y'all going to church at tonight? <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, don't do that. No, well, 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 look, man, they don't take all that. Now, you'll meet some of them like your kin folk. They don't take all that. Y'all just all you know is go to church. I said, go there. I tell you to go somewhere. It's like it's a bird. My goal is a bird. Actually. Anyway, like the devil and, and Jesus and God is competing for the same soul. And the soul is the most invaluable thing and most and human beings are the most valuable or, or physical thing that God ever created. Very valuable. So we're looking here in Acts, I mean in, on, on John 10 and verse number 10. And this, I knew this because I believe this is what God was impressing on me. Brother Williams said, lay it on my heart. But I don't, I don't really like that. I just like to let God speak. And whatever well, God, you know, there's so many scriptures in this Bible. That's right. But it said, a thief coming. And, and see, this, this is the problem we have. We have people just go to church and people like, but see, I want to do an expository on you that you can get an understanding there was somebody trying to hook like you. You get if you are, if if you come to be faith. But it said the thief coming. That th on me. He ain't gonna stop coming. It's like I have to get him back straight. <laughs> he's the devil won't come back. But you said that here. It's because we have too many scriptures to show you the devil just left Jesus for a season. Now, how are you going to tell somebody? See, this is the kind of stuff that you have to cut out when you hear it. And, and let me just say something. When people cannot mix flesh with the spirit, they'll get upset. God, I feel like this. Well, you know what you feel? <coughs> this is not a Baptist church where every member has some autonomy. <laughs> you have, we don't vote on it. You can't vote here Amen. against what's right. Huh? Well, well, we said like this. We don't care what you say. I told my brother when I was telling him the other day about. He said it's okay, but he just shack up. I said no, no, brother. He's what I said. The Bible said don't let your good then be overflow. He's what he's what you can't do. I already told you. He can't judge you. I said you better get that. Don't take that out of country. Now I don't know what. I ain't seen any brother fifty something years. So I don't know what he's going to talk to God, no. Huh? I said, when you knew that out of John 14, I'm telling you, like, I said, he's talking about eating meat, dumb head. He's not talking about you staying with some woman. Like you told my daddy, he's going to talk about, well, well you come along, Mary. I said, ain't really going to come along, Mary, nobody. That's the case, what I'm going to get married for? I can just go get me a woman, stay with her, and then they say, well, y'all married. Huh? <laughs> I mean, just, I mean, man, this, 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 the world is screwed up. And I said, oh, wait a minute, brother. He said, a lot of people told me that. I said, I ain't a lot of people. I said, I'm telling you what the word of God saying. This is forever settled in heaven. Now, what you going to do with that? He sat down in his chair and opened his legs up like Donald Trump. Like, listen to me. The thief trying to get me back a president. Huh? Now, how did evangelicals select him three times to be they, to be they nominee? Thief, murderer. And just say everything. Anything. Then the packer will have enough, enough gumption. He won't do me and tell me about Donald Trump. Tell me not about Donald Trump. Because I ain't scared of nail packer with the ever been born. Redneck, crooked neck. <laughs> Amen. 
Pray, because you, if, if my boss man come up, he, he, if he's bold enough to talk to me about Donald Trump, I'm, I'm bold enough to talk about about Kamala Harris or anybody else. Huh? You don't want to start. If you don't want, listen, if you want to get hot off my off the fire, don't you start no fire. You better just leave it as sparks, brother. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You better be with me, my God. Listen, you're talking the wrong thing. Anyway, so look what it said. It said, the thief coming, not. So if you don't want to talk, not. But he said, but conjunction. Except. For to steal and to kill and to destroy. And he said, I'm coming. We, we got, listen, we got some objectives. See, Jesus got some purpose. See, just like, I, I don't understand this. I'll tell you again, I don't understand people. Because I've said what you said. How you come to church? This people been all years on it all ago. Man, I, I ain't from with nothing else I get. You telling me, help me. I'm the quarterback of this team. And they, and they, look, look, brother. He had a son of your number one. And he, and he gives it to the tight end every time I'm a bun now. Huh? They don't never give me the ball on the quarterback. Huh? Well, the first thing I'm going to do, God promised me the Holy Ghost. He promised me a wife. He promised me a job. He promised me a husband. He promised me. My God, how on earth are you going to let the devil make a fool of you? I, I just never seen nothing like it. Man, I want to get what God said. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Let no Bible. And what? His righteousness. Forget what? If he hadn't said righteousness, it would have been all right. Just give me the kingdom, I don't want no righteousness. Hmm? See, I think in a purpose. I thank it our purpose. See, because once you understand God, your purpose in God, you will not abuse that purpose. You will not abuse yourself. And then you don't let other men, other women special, they'll let abuse you. Well, I tell the little girl, the girl tell her, I said, hey, value yourself. God value you. God has never told you nothing to do that's impossible for you to do. Never told you because he never told you to do nothing by yourself. Never. Never. Watch this. Even when you look at Matthew 11 and 20, he said, come unto me, all you that labor and him. He said, you come now. Who? You didn't say, come to me, Jesus, and help me. Huh? He told you to come on in you. Yeah. All you that labor and have a lady, when you get there, he got a reward for you. Because yeah. hmm? if he invites you, he got, he got, he gonna be there for you. As I tell people, you come in this church, I'm talking about this. And you looking for Jesus, and all you find is me, you got some problems. Yeah. That means I'm trying to set myself up as a big will. I'm not a healer, but God will use me from the time that he's what he's talking about. And I have a problem sometimes because I, I, I want to pray for people that are sick and stuff, but I want to get salvation for them. But then I seen Jesus do it, I seen the apostles of them do it. I said, oh Lord, can we get this first? But my God, sometimes this is God and use that because we found a pattern in the Bible. We find a pattern in the Bible. He did it. And that, that gives people a talking about to come. Amen. It might have been the one person or something. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. Help me here, Lord. Because he said the thief cometh not, but the, the, the thief want to steal. He want to kill you. He want to destroy you. But why? He's not coming. You may have life. And that life there is Z-O-E. Zoe life. Thank you. Zoe. Zoe. Which is Greek. Which means it's physical, spiritual, but it's also eternal life. It's eternal life also. Which is used in, in the book of John here about 49 times or something. 
but it used in all the old, all, 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 all the New Testament by about 107 times. Amen. Are you listening to the church? Give God a big hand, please. Give him a big hand. Jesus, you know, and, and look, man, these little brothers and nephews, here, these brothers come on. I wouldn't come on. But I'm telling you something, it was a desire in my spirit. I didn't know how to get there. And I, let me tell you something, church. I just believe this with all my heart. And, and I see where y'all fail. But I just, I just, I just believe. I know for a fact. I only got nailed baby out of the way long. Nailed. If my parents hadn't been just, if my mother just stayed in the way. And the other people, because we, we, we were taught to respect people. Amen. We're taught to respect people. And I know this for a fact. What the Bible said, train up a child in the way he goes. He should go, and when he's old, he would not depart from it. You know, you tell me this stuff. I know because I keep reflecting back. I'm not stumbling over my past. You understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to this for a minute. Can I tell you this? My past, I'm not, my past is not hindering me. My past prepared me for where I am now. Give God some of that. My past prepared me. From where I am now, and if you don't believe that, you, this is why you where you are. This is why you where you are. Because why? You will let your past take. I tell you about my past, but I don't let my past stumble me up. My past prepared me to be where I am and who I am today. No, because when I practice, if you practice football, if you practice driving, oh man, it's going to take you forward. Amen. It don't hinder you. The contrast with Jesus and him, Jesus said, wait a minute, I come to give you Zoe. I come to give you eternal life. The devil won't destroy your life. Amen. So you can have a no good daddy, drinking, Bad and, and, and all kind of stuff they can influence you. But let me tell you something. God, you, you got to pick out this is the way God helped me that I my, I didn't have no bad at half a month. But I just picked out I said, somebody I don't know nothing. I said, these why are these people on here doing good? Wow. You know, there was some people you know who was little must have those uh Samuels. They they had the man had a wife and He's an older man, but he worked somewhere. He had a farm and stuff. And all his kids, they went to school good, man. They have a nice house and stuff. I don't know where the white works. He woke white all the time. And I don't know. I just see us speak to him. But my God, I said, why we can't be like that? This woman's always around. She had a bunch of boys, you know. They didn't turn out to be much. But they had a great opportunity. Yeah. And we didn't have that opportunity. They didn't go to school every day. I wanted to go to school. But nobody can stop me from finishing school. See, some children, they say, I just, if I, this is what I believe. If I can just finish school and get a job, I can make it. Yeah. And see, the way most people do, they get a job, they, they, they like in doses, they don't put all in there. I'm not going, the job is not my God. It were before I found Jesus because I thought if I get this, I get this, I get this, I fill up that bank void to send me. It's right now. There's people in here. You'll go together. If I hadn't did this, if I did, you can F, F, F all you want. And you're